We at Ear Guru, the Ear Health blog regularly share information to educate our viewer on all matters related to the ear. Our videos and website have helpful blogs on hearing loss, hearing aids, speech therapy and cochlear implants. In this video, we will discuss tips for ear wax removal at home. Ear wax or cerumen is a yellowish substance excreted by ears. Every one of us is familiar with ear wax and think that we know about ear wax removal at home. But are we using the right method for cleaning or ear wax removal? Caution: We may be risking damage to our ears. It is advisable that you see this video and do not try methods that could be dangerous. Is ear wax something dirty or unwanted? Or is it a sign of bad ear health or hygiene? Obviously, the answer is a big no. It is a natural secretion of the ear and has a lot of benefits. It stops the dust from getting in the ear and protects the delicate ear canal. Ear wax normally helps in lubrication of the ear canal. It also prevents dust, bacteria, fungal infection and water getting in. In fact, the total absence of ear wax may lead to dry ears resulting in itching and flaking of the ear canal. A small amount of ear wax is healthy and perfectly normal and does not affect the ear health. Some people produce a little too much. If this excess ear wax is not removed regularly, it will lead to blockage of the ear. Let us find out what are the problems caused by ear wax blockage. We commonly use cotton buds or any convenient tool like a bent part of the hairpin. Avoid using them. Cotton buds will push the ear wax deep into the ear which will result in blockage of the ear canal. Ear wax blockage can also lead to earache, ringing in the ears or tinnitus, itching, and bad odor. It can also cause temporary hearing loss and ear infection. Majority of the people generally try home remedies for cleaning or removal of ear wax. Please note that uncertain cotton buds or hairpins should be totally avoided. Also avoid going to quacks who are not scientifically trained to clean ear wax. What are the recommended home ear wax removal methods? The recommended home remedy for ear wax removal is the use of hydrogen peroxide. The basic idea is to soften the accumulated wax and dislodge it without using any external object. Using foreign objects may hurt the delicate part of our ears. Doctors use forceps and other metal tools as they are experts in ear wax removal. One can also use ear wax removal drops marketed by pharma companies. They work as ear wax softeners. These ear wax removal drops are easily available at your local chemist. Follow these instructions for ear wax removal at home. Lie down on the bed, on your side, with the ear facing up. Remember to spread a towel or clean cloth on the bed. Under your head to avoid soiling the bed sheets. Use the prescribed ear wax removal drops or hydrogen peroxide. Slowly fill up the ear canal. The hydrogen peroxide will start forming. This is perfectly normal. Hydrogen peroxide works as an ear wax softener. Stay in this position for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes cover the ear with a soft clean cloth or tissue. Slowly turn your head. The ear with ear wax removal drops or hydrogen peroxide should now be facing down. Chances are that the softened ear wax will dislodge and slide out. Gently clean the liquid. You should clean only the outer ear. Do not insert the cloth or tissue inside the ear canal. Turn over and repeat the process for the other ear. What precautions should you take while using hydrogen peroxide for cleaning ear wax? Hydrogen peroxide or ear wax softener drops available have to be used with caution. Users must read the instructions regarding the number of drops to be used at a time and not use more than the recommended dose. Hydrogen peroxide is considered safe if the concentration is low. Generally, over-the-counter ear drops have 5 to 6.5% concentration of carbamate peroxide. Excessive use can lead to side effects and reactions. A concentration of over 10% can lead to blistering, skin irritation and at times skin burns. Excess use of hydrogen peroxide drops can also cause temporary increase in tinnitus, short spell of dizziness, taste of bitterness on the tongue, temporary hearing loss, earache, drain out the excess hydrogen peroxide if you experience the above reactions. The excess can be drained out by facing that ear down so the peroxide spills out. Pour a few drops of warm water in the ear and drain it. Repeat this action a few times till the burning sensation stops. 
We can also use oil to dislodge the wax. Olive oil is commonly used. Warm the oil, do not overheat it. Put a few drops into the air. It will take around 10 minutes for the ear wax to soften. Sesame oil, mustard oil and baby oil also work fine as ear wax softeners. Salt water also works as an ear wax softener. Mix 1 teaspoon of clean good quality salt in some water. Stir till the salt is fully dissolved. Pour the salt water into the air. Leave for 5 to 10 minutes, turn over and let the water drain out. Please note that the home methods are only advisable for grown-ups. Do not try these home remedies on children. It is advisable to take your child to a pediatrician or to an ANT doctor. What if the above method does not work? If the ear wax is too hard and the home remedies do not work, it is advisable to see your ANT doctor. The doctor will look into your ear canal using an otoscope. Depending on the ear wax buildup, the doctor will use an ear wax extractor. The doctor will use a syringe to push water in the air, a process known as ear wax syringing or irrigation. Regular checkup for ear wax buildup in children is very important. The accumulated wax will temporarily reduce the hearing due to the blockage caused by the ear wax. Your child may find it difficult to follow the teacher in school if he or she is sitting some distance away in the classroom. This may result in your child falling behind in studies. Maintain good ear hygiene at all times. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe. www.airguru.in